Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a brief video um, to show everyone how you can get 16 bit applications, Windows applications that is, to run on both Windows 10 64 bit and Windows 11 obviously 64 bit too. Um, so these apps will actually run, they seem seamlessly and to run seamlessly and quite natively. Um, when you're actually running them, it would just appear to be like another application that you've got on your computer um, so it is quite amazing actually to get this really old software 16-bit software running there's various different methods if you look online um, a lot of the times it would just say you need to install DOSBox and at that point I'm like no <laughs> there's got to be another way and there actually is another way so there's actually a piece of software on github um made by someone called otia128 apologies if i've said that incorrectly and the piece of software is called wine bdm um lots of different information um, but effectively you just download an archive and you can install it and there's two two methods to do the installation uh, there's one with the console and one without if you do the version with the console um, every time you run a 16-bit application it will pop up and just show you the version of the software that's running in the background and any debug information so i would probably recommend the no console version but anyway so i'll put the link to the site um in the information on the video um all you need to do is just go to the stable version just download the zip file there it's quite small it's about a meg and a half there we go that's downloaded I'm just going to extract that there. Trusty WinRAR. Right, so you've extracted your folder. Various different things in here. You can see um, install no console, like I was talking about before. Standard install that does have a pop up console when running these applications. I would just go with the no, no console uh, version. And you can literally just run these apps, games. And we'll also see screensavers, which is quite interesting too. So I'll just install that there. Just double click it. There you go. Pretty quick. Anyone that's tried to run a 16-bit Windows application on a modern computer, so Windows 10 64-bit um, or Windows 11, will know that you just get an error message and it doesn't work. Okay, so I've installed that now. So I've prepared some software so first of all i'm going to actually show you um an awesome game it's probably one of my favorite windows uh, 3.11 games jezball i'm sure everyone's heard of this um and you just run it there we go you can probably pick up in the background the sound as well so the sound works all the menus work options um and it just looks great so fully playable um no slowdowns, seems really fast, totally playable, no issues there, uh, which is fantastic. So I'm definitely going to be playing some Jazz Ball later. Okay, so obviously you could run any software, you can just run it from a folder. Um, you could try and do some installations. I have come across some, some issues when you're running um, installers, 16-bit installers. Um, but you know you can always extract them and just put them in a folder and run them that way so um that's standalone software actually a game um but what i thought would be interesting because i did actually post some information and some pictures videos lots of stuff over the past week i've had had a bit of a screen saver craze uh, over the past couple of weeks exploring old screen savers that i remembered now my first pc was a 386 um I ended up getting windows 3.1 on there so you know games like jazz ball um indiana jones desktop adventures all those kind of games um i really loved playing on there so but to be able to run them on my modern computer um it's fantastic one question i did get is can you run screensavers as well actually you can 
not only can you run screens over this the follow-up question i had was can you configure the screen savers and yes you can so what i've done here um i've just done some shortcuts these are just extracted scr files um from an archive i had 16 bit screen savers um and they're just standalone scr files so actually if you right click on them you can actually get the configure menu to come up obviously windows 11 you need to press show more options and you can see there that you can just do the configure and amazingly it all pops up which is great so i'm just going to run a couple of these just to show you what it runs like actually it runs really well if i add more things on the screen it might look a bit better so actually let me just open the browser up there so you can actually see a little bit better i really like this one to be honest it's pretty cool okay so chickens i don't know if anyone remembers this one quite fun <laughs> some egg splats on the screen there it's actually working really well on this computer okay so i think this is kaleidoscope obviously you were limited um back then to the um the length of the name you could have enough files i think this is kaleidoscope it's called this is a pretty cool one actually runs really well too there we go so like I said, you've got the options, so you can actually configure it. I mean, look at look at the amount of options that you've got in there. So I definitely think I'm going to be using this one. Um, and this one, which I found randomly, which is pretty cool. I really like this one. It's a bit boring, but it's still pretty retro and pretty cool. Serious log logic screensaver. <laughs> pretty cool. Um, not sure if everyone remembers this one. It's a submarine. Definitely think someone drew that in paint <laughs> at some point. Still cool though. Still cool. I think as well. This so the monitor that I'm recording this on is, is 1920 by 1200 resolution. Obviously, back in the day, you're probably using like a 640 by 480, 800 by 600. Um, and it would have been a lot quicker to get across the screen, but because this is such a large resolution to back then, it's taken a long time to get there. But there we go. Now this one, I don't actually know what it's called. It looks like a window cleaner. It's pretty fun though. Guy just comes down, cleans the screen. I like it. It's very noisy though. You can probably hear that on the speakers on the background. It's cool though. I like that one. And this one, this one definitely brings back some memories because um, there's a theme in Windows 3.1. Um, I think it's called Autumn. I can't remember. Sorry, not a theme. A wallpaper. Um, I think it's called Leaves. Um, this is a screensaver that's got some nice animated leaves, which is really cool. There we go. Um, so I might, I think what I'll do, I'll leave it there for today. Um, but what I'll do, I'll, I'll have a look at the, what I was saying before about the software that you have to install, so installers to see whether they work properly. I definitely want to get Indiana Jones and the uh, his desktop adventures working and the Yoda Stories game as well that I posted about earlier today. I want to try and get that running on the computer. I don't know whether the install is going to work but i'll try it and get back to you and let you know hope you hopefully you found that useful um yeah thanks for watching